This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. The Federal Aviation Administration says it is investigating complaints about a drone pilot who allegedly flew his drone inside Paul Brown Stadium during the Bengals playoff game. We are not showing the video because we don't have the owner's permission, but it was posted on a public YouTube channel showing it flying low over the field and stands during the third quarter. The I team has reached out to the person who posted the drone video from inside the stadium, but he has not responded. The city of Cincinnati is considering plans today to redevelop the Duke Energy Center into a true convention center district. That would mean not only upgrading the convention center, but also redeveloping the areas around it so that the city becomes a national destination. In this plan, the 3CDC would be the lead development planner for the project. The John A. Roebling Bridge will not open this Monday as planned. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet says winter weather has delayed the concrete reaching its full strength on the south side approach. There's no word yet on when it will reopen. The more than 150 year old bridge has been closed since February for extensive maintenance. Jen. Well, today we have the return of snow eventually, but first we've got to get the temperature to come down. But later on this evening, winter weather advisory from Owen over to Mason County and up through Adams and Brown County starts at 7 and goes until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. The temperature is starting to fall. We will see that transition to snow, but a lot of this won't even happen until after 7 p.m. for that snow. So that's why this is really secluded to an evening issue. But there's some of that light rain. Nothing freezing because our pavement did warm up enough today. There by 7, you'll see more of that transition to the light snowfall. How much we'll see and what it means for the drive on Thursday morning. It's ahead in your nine first warning forecast.